Hello all and welcome to Zelene channel. So in this video, I will share a guide that I have found on the Nino Kuni official YouTube website that are very helpful for our elements builds and also the weapon builds for the early and also the mid game itself. So let's just check it out. Nino Kuni Crossworld's official element guide. Elemental basics. Elements in Nino Kuni. In Nino Kuni, there are five elements fire, water, earth, light, and darkness. So you can see that this is kind of like the elements that um, reactions in this game itself. So um, I hope every one of you are clear about which one is good to against which elements. The five elements can be applied to weapons, familiars, special active skills, and monsters. You can check a monster's element next to their HP bar over their head. The amount of damage increases or decreases depending on elemental relationships. So in order to fight effectively, you have to attack monsters with a weapon with an elemental advantage. So you can see that one thing that you might not know is that we all know that if we are using the correct element damage, then we will have a damage increase. But how many percent of it is actually 50% on top, which is adding a lot. And if you are using a wrong weapon, which is against two it, then the damage actually decrease of 50% so make sure that you equip the correct weapon in order to fight the mobs and one thing that you also need to note is how you would know is that so if you are using the correct weapon it will show the damage as in yellow and if you are using the wrong weapon itself it will show the damage as blue you have to attack mobs if you encounter an unexpected enemy See which one of your equipped weapons has an elemental advantage and swap equipment to enjoy a fast and decisive battle. Weapon Elements If you use the five elements well, you can defeat monsters even with low combat power. So you can see, uh, as I say, lever is not important. Combat power is important than level, but another thing that is much more important than the combat power is actually on the elements, which is this one that is trying to explain. That's because the attack and the extra awakening effects of all three equipped weapons are applied, as well as the element attack depending on the situation. If you need to defeat earth monsters, try equipping three fire weapons. So you can see on the screen itself, it's much more like a late game item. So right now we are still in the beginning stage of the game itself. So super rare is really something kind of hard to gain um, for free to play players. But what we can do here is that a lot of you guys asking, hey, I have built my four star. So what should I do with my three star? Um, I saw your guy that you actually built on your three star. I would say that, um, there's no right or wrong because it really depends on what's in your inventory and to compare the stats of it uh the awakening effect of it because everyone gets the weapon differently if you are super lucky you will get the four star weapons uh, the similar four star weapons same element and you could awaken it in the first way that would add a lot of benefit into it but then right now i'm using the three star because i do not have a great four star my four star i just awaken it to one and right now i'm trying to use my three star first and slowly slot in my four star as a support and then slowly swap it using the four star as a main weapon so it's kind of like like a parallel build for both of it in the beginning of the game you will focus on one weapon per element and slowly you will kind of like want to build your dream deck on focusing the elements which will be talked in the next slide all equipped weapons attack extra awake so you can see the first one is the three star the middle one is the four star and then we have the super rare at the third slots here and 
The first one why I'm using 3 star is because of the fire attack increase. This is because the fire attack increase, it reduces the element damage and then adding together with this damage here, it will give you a boost even if you are CP, your CP is low. Um, if you are using the correct elements and kind of things like that, the, the fire attack increase at the awakening slot is actually helps a lot. And if you say that you have built your four star, you can slot in three star as a support. So that is kind of like the mid game build that when we are moving our characters to the sky pirate so around like level 65 you will need kind of like build the element um deck in your game itself so right now we are just using maybe one deck but in the future of the game itself we will need to build the elements deck that's where you see that we have like 10 free deck slots so if you have like all three weapons, of course, it will add the fire attack, the basic attack damage increase, and damage to the earth monster together. So all this awakening effect applies. And element attacker applies, making you more efficient in battle. So you can see attack plus extra awakening effect is that all this one, the yellow one, are applied to it when you put it into your deck plus elemental attack so if you go into your game itself um let me just quickly pull my game screen so i can explain how it works this one is it okay yep so you can see right now in my game itself let me just zoom in and just go to my weapon deck and this attack here is applied when you use all the i mean the three weapon that i'm having here the attack is all applied if you see back the window capture uh okay this one here so the attack itself it applied so the first one is actually meaning that the one that on the first one here so this attack here it's all apply for all three weapon but then if let's say you see the one which is the extra awakening effect it's also based on all three weapons on your slots itself which is um this one here so if you have like uh, so right now i'm using my three star all this extra awakening effect from all three slots here so you could see critical damage accuracy from my earth weapons is also adding to my character and also for this one here uh it's all added together because um you are putting it in that deck and the only thing that doesn't apply is the elemental attack so if the elemental attack itself let me just back to my deck because right now it's a mixed deck so i have my fire earth and water here so if you click on your equipment itself it only applies to the one that you are using so if i'm using my fire weapon right now it only applies this one here even if i put this one together into it because it was not a full fire deck so it only applies to which weapon that I'm using the fire attack, but it's not an add up of like 639 plus um, 464, uh, 465. So it, it's, it does not calculate in that way because of um, I only apply one weapon. I mean, I only have two fire weapons here, but not three of it. So it only takes the one that I am using during the battle and i hope this is kind of clear enough because um a lot of you guys might have not noted about that uh yeah so this guy here clearly state that it, it applies all when you have all three same elemental attack so if let's say in another way if you really want to enjoy that elemental attack you can put like two three star weapons and one four star weapons into your deck for the elemental attack increase or maybe like a, um, two four star and one three star weapons so it's like you you just have to put all same elemental 
um, into that slot, then you can enjoy that elemental attack benefit by plusing every elemental attack from, from the weapon you have. However, if you equip weapons with different elements, the attack and extra awakening effects of all three weapons are... So you can see, if you are using the different kind of weapon, which is the, in the early game, all of us are building it that way. So it only applies to attack of the weapon that you are using. So it depends on which weapon you are using. And also the extra awakening effect that are on every of the weapon. But you could not see the elemental attack that are in here. This is because of... Still applied. But only the element attack of the selected weapon will be... You can see because it's fire, earth, and water, you do not have fire, fire, fire. So only the one that you are equipping applies that element attack in it. So if you have like two fire and one water here, so it also does not apply. Applied. Don't forget to equip. So in this case, if you are equipping two fire weapons, uh, let's say, so let me just bring that game screen back on for a moment so if in this case if i put my fire weapon into here so i would need to compare if my fire attack for this weapon here is bigger or maybe this one here is bigger so you will need to choose just to use the weapon that are having more fire attack as your main weapons during the combat because that that will be the one that it using on the element attack so let me just back to the video equip weapons with the same element when you need to maximize a specific element damage Familiar elements. Just like weapons, up to three familiar stats and passive skills are all applied. For example, if you need to defeat earth monsters, bring Rough, Draggle, and Might, who have fire element passive skills. You can maximize your fire element attack and damage. So you can see that the passive skill of the familiar only applies when you have three same elements. So this is also something that I have learned recently because I don't really focus on my familiar. So I just choose the highest CP. But then in the mid game itself, you would want to try to build like the element deck because that in, in that way, you only can maximize the damage from your formula. So if you are using the wrong, I mean, the, the deck doesn't have the full kind of like same element. Um, yeah, so this is what it explains. So let me just play back. Uh, this is really an important point if you would like to focus on your familiar. For example, if you need to defeat earth monsters, bring rough, draggle, and might, who have fire element passive skills. You can maximize your fire element attack and damage. Enjoy strategic battles by coordinating your weapons and familiar's elements. Yep, I guess that would be all for this video um, about the element attack and let's see about the familiar. Uh, let me just check it out here. Let me zoom. So just now it talks about the passive skill. So if you see in your familiar event inventory itself, you will see there is one called as the passive skills. So this is only apply when you are using the correct, I mean, the, the gang that are all having the same elements. So if you do not have the same element, this passive skill is a no. So it doesn't really trigger this to happen which is something new for me as well so right now you might want to start to build your uh, familiar with the same elements if you could um, so 
it would be kind of hard because it's so about like the RNG. Um, you can filter by the elements itself to see which one is the best, which one has the highest CP for that specific element and put it into the deck itself. So I think this would be something useful, um, especially during the mid game itself. And yeah, I guess this would be all for this video here and I hope this video is helpful and thanks for watching.